A day after a mob of protesters stormed the U.S. Capitol building, many questions remain. A uh, big one is how the protesters could make it into the Capitol in the first place and why the police weren't better prepared to handle the planned protests. Now, late this afternoon, the Capitol Police Chief announced he'll resign next week. And in a tape message released earlier tonight, President Trump condemned the violence, called for calm, and said that he'll focus on a smooth transition of power. But the factors that played into yesterday's attack could have a lasting impact on the country. Catalan's Lauren Solig talked with a local political professor about the ordeal. Julia Helwig, an assistant professor of political science at USD, says she wasn't surprised how Wednesday's events unfolded. We know that there had been planning underway um, and calls for action from Trump supporters since the election, um, specifically saying come to Washington on January 6th. And so to me, it was very shocking to see how easily insurgents entered into the Capitol building. She believes there were many factors, including a sharply divided electorate that have played into the buildup of what the country has experienced. But I think the bottom line is, and whether you see it as a factor or as an outcome, is the increased polarization in our country um, has been extraordinarily detrimental. Um, and I think in this case, the polarization can be seen as a factor um, because I think the outcome for me that we're seeing is the deterioration of democracy and deterioration of democratic principles and congressional procedure. Helwig says our democratic ideals are the strength of the nation, but a democracy can be fragile when there are shocks to the system. I'm hoping that more Americans understand a bit more about the nuances of democracy. Uh, that's not so simple that, well, because we go and vote, we're a democracy, um, nor the idea that, you know, we're the greatest democracy in the world because we have the freedom of speech, right? There are so many different parts that make democracy um, and that we have to work at it constantly. Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Helbig says U.S. citizens can expect to see a lot of calls to action happening in the coming weeks before inauguration, but not a lot of actual action being done.